Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes available on Windows 11 build 2579. This preview comes with some new changes but they're not tied to a specific release of Windows 11. Microsoft may choose to include or discard any of these features at any time. Also, some of these new features may even roll out before the next feature update. Ok, here's what's new on Windows 11 build 2579. In this release, the start menu has been updated, so on the uh, pin section when you create folders, you can also choose a name for every folder that you create. Once you rename the folder, you will see the name at the bottom of the folder. This isn't a new feature, but you can now once again use the middle click of the mouse to open a new instance of the application in the taskbar. On Windows 11 build 2579, the new task manager has also been updated to now show the button to run a new task and that button now will be available on all the pages. Although this is not exactly new to this release of Windows 11, Microsoft is pointing out that the print dialog has been updated to use the same modern design available on Windows 11, as you can see right here. And in addition to the interface update, the print dialog will now discover local network printers automatically. If you choose a new printer that is not installed on your computer, it will install automatically without you having to open the settings app. Also, the emoji system has been updated and now the emojis that you can actually customize will now include a dot at the bottom right corner that lets you know that that specific emoji is customizable. Also, starting with this flight, you will no longer find the keyboard layouts as part of the uh, quick settings options. For touch, you can now use three fingers to swipe left and right and switch between recently used windows, as you can see on this demo from Microsoft. Finally, for administrators, now there is a new policy for Intunes that allows them to exclude USB drives from BitLocker encryption to prevent accidental encryption of certain storage. And that's it. Those were pretty much all the new official changes available on Windows 11 build 2579. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.